If I asked you to think about a transportation system, you might think about something like this freeway interchange. But for many in the world's least developed nations, the road system looks something more like this. This is the road leading to the hospital that I work at in South Sudan. Before I repaired it earlier this year, it had gotten so bad that pregnant women were forced to walk the last mile to the hospital. South Sudan has less than 150 miles of paved road in a country the size of Texas. Transportation is a huge problem in everyday life and a real hindrance to development. My entry for the 2015 Hackaday Prize is a small solar-powered utility vehicle that can cope with these rough conditions. I started my project by looking what I could locally source. While there are a few cars here, there are many imported 125cc motorcycles. This one's mine, and according to the manufacturer, they've sold over a million of this model in Africa. Replacement parts are cheap and readily available around the country. I've been able to source all of the mechanical components locally. I had to get my batteries and solar panels from nearby Uganda, the motors and charge controller from China, and the motor controllers and other electronics from the US. Sourcing items has been one of the biggest challenges for this project. I tested out the components by making a prototype frame. While it was functional, there were a lot of improvements I wanted to make. The biggest change was the addition of shock absorbers and solar panels for charging. If you look at the body, it's divided at the center point where it articulates. It can also rotate at this point so that all the wheels stay on the ground regardless of the terrain. Steering is achieved by differential motor control. Currently I'm finishing up the version 2 body. It has been painted and ready for reassembly. I then need to refine the electronics. Currently I'm driving it with an RC transmitter. I'm going to be using a Wii nunchuck in the final version. I also want to add current and temperature monitoring to be displayed on an LCD. I would like to add a winch and later actuated for a powered dump bed. Thanks to a fuel shortage in town, I've not been able to weld with our generator. This made me search out for alternatives. I wound this massive toroidal inductor around an old transformer to make an arc stabilizer. I can now weld very effectively with my 24 volt battery bank, which are charged by the solar panels. This will definitely stay on as an onboard welder. In an environment like this, you need a hack to be able to hack.